It's 2015. How y'all doing? How y'all living? I'm off today. I was off yesterday too. I just didn't um, come in vlog because um, yes, yesterday. Sorry, I'm getting text messages. Um, so yesterday it was kind of like a relaxing day for me. What I did was I just caught up on some schoolwork. I feel like I'm always catching up, especially with this class. This class that I'm taking right now is healthcare policy. And can y'all stop texting me while I'm vlogging? Um, healthcare policy and it's kicking my tail. The instructor, I don't know, like, I don't know. She's just something else, I tell you. And um, I talked to her over the phone. She's, she's got an attitude problem. Like, she's just not happy with life. Um, so that's what I did yesterday. I also washed my hair, my um, real hair, and I rebraided it under here so I don't look like, <laughs> you know, let look unkempt under there. So I washed, conditioned, braided my hair. I also went to Ross to get a curling wand because I'm not blessed with the ability to be able to curl my hair really well with the flat iron. My sister's really good at it. So I bought a curling a curling wand, even though I have one, except for, um, but it is, it's in, um, Atlanta with um, my cousin so <laughs> that doesn't help my situation so I had to buy another one like a really cheap like $10 one just to kind of get curls in this hair because I'm tired of wearing it straight I'm about to go on a tour a uh, Hollywood tour and I bought it through Groupon anyway guys let me go I'll check with you guys This whole kind of fortress on the left here, walls, gates, cameras, hedges, but somewhere back there, Leonardo DiCaprio. And giant property for this kind of area, because that's the end of the block and all the way up to the top of the hill. So. People tend to often think it's on a little hill and it might be 20 feet tall. It's 1,451 feet up, and each letter of the sign is 30 feet wide by 50 feet tall. Excuse the extra greasy face right now. <laughs> I know it's not as bad. I'm actually using my iPhone as a um, light light for me. So, you know, I'm not as shiny as the light is making me um, look. But for whatever reason, my um, webcam doesn't pick up light well. So anyway, I just wanted to come in and talk to you guys real quick. I am just chilling in my apartment. I had a wonderful today, wonderful day today. Just walking on Hollywood Boulevard. I did some a sunset, sunset Boulevard, the tour that I did. Um, I did some shopping. I got some t-shirts for the fam. Well, this one's for me and it says, I love LA. And then I got this one for my mom. And it says, Hollywood City, City of the Stars, California. <clears throat> what that looks like and then I got <clears throat> a what is this another t-shirt for my dad and it says Hollywood California I really like the one that I got for my dad it reminds me like it looks like something that would come out of Hollister right the final thing I got for my sister <clears throat> um, she collects uh, shot glasses I don't know if you guys do that about her but she collects shot glasses and I saw this one. I thought it was so cute. Look at this. Isn't that cute? The hot pink with the star on it that says Hollywood. That's so cute. And it's so funny because when I thought about her and everywhere she goes, she gets a shot glass, whether it's out of the country or in the country. 
and she collects them. And I go from city to city, but I don't collect anything from the city. The most I'll do is get a t-shirt. So I have a lot of t-shirts that say stuff, you know, like cities on them. But I don't know, like, I want to collect something from every city. What do you guys think I should do? I don't want to do like a, a refrigerator magnet because I would never put it on my refrigerator for real. And keychains, I'm not, I'm not the type of person that has a bulky keychain. So, or like bulky set of keys. What should I, what should I collect? I want some ideas. What I was doing is I was just chilling, you know, wrap my hair up, was getting ready to make dinner. So I was watching some old videos of mine. And sometimes I do that because you get like a, you see where you've you've come from. You remember where you've come from when you watch the videos. When I go back and I watch some of the videos, some of them are painful to watch, but <laughs> I go back and I watch them and I think, man, this is what was going on at that time and this is what I was doing and look at where I am now. <clears throat> it's crazy. I was watching, well, the first one I watched was the first cruise that our family ever went on. I used to do what was called What's Up Weeklies. Hello ladies, this is Patricia, also known as God's Design One here on YouTube and you're watching What's Up Weekly. If you're not subscribed, if you haven't been subscribed to my other channel for a long time, you probably don't even know about those videos. But <laughs> it was my first, you know, experience with vlogging, really. So basically, I do exact. I did what ex exactly what I do now, except for, you know, it had a name, which is called What's Up Weeklies. And I remember when I first created this channel, I told my subscribers at the time that my What's Up Weeklies would be taken to my vlog channel. And the next one I watched was the one where I graduated college. <laughs> and I didn't know that that, that that video was still, some of them are up, some of them are just unlisted. But I was looking back at that video and graduation and what I was thinking and feeling and my pinning ceremony, crazy. Today is May 12th, 2012, and I'm graduating tonight. With the twist out in my hair. Did I mention I graduated? Did I mention I graduated? <laughs> okay, I don't know if you can see me, but um, I basically rolled and tucked my hair on all to kind of one side. Um, I did this flat twist, it's very loose flat twist on the left side all the way and pinned it until I got to the roll and tuck part over here. I don't know if that makes sense. And then I sort of just pinned up the front into like this swoop thing. And it's really, really, really cute. It's raining really bad right now. So I knew I had to put it up so that I wouldn't, you know, um, get a whole lot of frizz. And so my graduation is like a three day situation. Okay, Friday, Saturday morning and Saturday night. So this is the Saturday night commencement and this is what I decided to do. And to think almost three years from there, like my life is completely different. I mean, when I first started doing YouTube, I was just recording videos in my dorm room and I, it's just crazy. Take pictures, document, write. This is why I keep a journal because I love to look, reflect and look back. Because sometimes you can think like, dang, I'm still not doing this. And that's what I started to feel before I started watching these videos. There's a project that I'm working on and um, that, I, that I've been working on for a long time. And it's something that I really want to see to fruition. So I was just writing some ideas and my budget and costs and things like that. And I was just thinking like, why isn't this done already? Like, why am I just now putting this together? And I was kind of down on myself about that. And you know, when am I gonna find the time to do this? You know, I had to look back and see where I've come from. 
And back then, I could not even imagine being here. When I look at these goals, and sometimes I'm intimidated by my own goals. You know, these days, I get emotional over everything, I promise you. But sometimes I'm intimidated by my own goals. I'm intimidated by my own aspirations because in my mind, they're just so big. And I don't know if you guys feel like that. If you guys feel intimidated by your aspirations and intimidated by your goals and they just seem so big and you don't know how to do it. I remember, I'm sorry guys, this is running long, but I just have to get this out. It's it's for me, but I also know it's for somebody else. I, I remember I told you guys that I had... Um, a group of friends where we would do um, <clears throat> devotions together on Saturday mornings in the cafeteria when I was in college. And this particular time, we didn't do it in the cafeteria because it was one of the group members' birthday. Sam, I think it was Sam's birthday. I actually have pictures, they're on Facebook, from this very morning. It was Sam's birthday, so we, we did breakfast at his uh, apartment. We all brought breakfast there. I remember we were having... Um, uh, devotional time and it was I think it was my turn to bring devotion yeah it was my turn and I talked about faith the Bible says that faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen and I, I remember talking I can't remember what I was going through for faith to be on my heart so bad or maybe it's just a reoccurring thing to me for me every once in a while it just kind of comes back but we sometimes view faith as believing but I talked about that morning how faith is more of an action word a lot of us Christians depend on if it's in the will of God what I mean by that is we depend on things falling into place or a lot of us say you know if it's in the will of God it's gonna happen right but I think we impress God with our faith meaning when we step out knowing and believing and being fully convicted he reciprocates our faith with favor and i remember i talked about i'm trying to like dig into the recesses of my mind um like i said i think i even have a picture of me talking from my journal that morning um i remember talking about uh jesus how jesus was wowed um by the faith, I think it was of the centurion man. The centurion man who was like, listen, Jesus, just say the word. And I know my daughter is healed. And Jesus literally was like, wow, like, I've never seen faith like this ever. Like, he was literally amazed by this dude's faith. Because he said, Lord, if you just say the word, I know it's done. Not, Lord, if it, if it is in your will, I know my daughter would be healed. Like He's like, no. If you say it, it is so. Period. And like I said, I, f I feel like this. there's something um, to be said when you move forward in faith, believing that God will. Anyway, that's enough of my rant. Um, yeah, that's enough of my rant. <laughs> We're just going to stop right there, but it's just what's coming into my mind. You know, and I'm, I'm pumping myself up right now to really finish my ideas and keep writing them down, making them happen like that book that, um, <laughs> that I read by Henriette, um, and Klauser. If you haven't read that book, please read it, please. So I'm writing it down and, um, making it happen. Anyway. Let me get off because I've been talking for too long. Hi guys, right now I am outside of the Pandora store. I'm going inside to try to find a charm for my little bullet. I wanted to get something to represent him. I got a Pandora bracelet as a gift um, back in December and um, my boyfriend and I have been adding to it as um, different life moments go by. So um, definitely wanted to get something to represent um, bullet because it was so important to my in my life. Um, so I decided to bring you guys along. <laughs> Like the puppy. Mm -hmm. 
What kind of dog do you have? I was just preparing to ask. You. Um, it's a Chihuahua. He passed. Oh, did he? Really? Yeah. So oh, I'm so I sorry. To to like do you have a picture of him? Yeah. Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you which one I ended up getting. Um, if you look at it at the end, that's a little dog bone, and around the rim it says, "I love my dog." Um, and everybody in there was so super nice. They're asking for pictures, um, and um, it was just really nice for me to be able to remember him um in a good light and um yeah so now i'll have a little reminder of my little bullet um on my pandora bracelet amazing grace shall always be my song of praise for it was grace that brought my liberty I do not know just how he came to love me so. He looked beyond my faults and saw my needs. And I will forever live my nights to Calvary. To view the cross where Jesus died for me. How marvelous the grace that brought my falling soul. He looked beyond my faults and saw my needs. I don't know what it is, but L-E-V-I, I don't want to say his name. This does not like when I say it. When I stop... He'll chill. <laughs> but the moment I start singing, he just gets to whining. What up, guys? Good morning. It's Saturday. I want to say probably my favorite day of the week. Anyway, so I'm headed to church. And that which probably has to do with why this is my favorite day of the week. But anyway, um, I want to pop in on here because I'm running a little bit late for church. But the church is really, really close. You guys know I love that church that I've been going out, um, that I went to the first two weeks, but it's really, really far out. And this morning, I noticed that when I work on Fridays, I'm tired come time when it's time to wake up Saturday morning. So I'm not really up to waking up extra early to drive an hour and some change away. So I just looked up some churches in the area and I found this one or I didn't map them until I actually came into the car But the one that I chose actually is close So this church is um, Well, I don't know anything about it. The the senior pastor's name. I don't know him I don't I don't recognize him as far as this picture on the website, but I re realized that he had a Haitian last name so this is interesting why you choose certain things. And also, it's probably the service is probably going to be quite different from the service that I went to uh, last week, which was interesting. I enjoyed the service nevertheless from last week, and I hope to enjoy this one coming, or that I'm going to this week. But yeah, the reason why I popped on is because um, my landlord was outside of her house when I walked out, the guest house, and she was washing um, her car. So I said hello and good morning, and so she kind of goes into her, a rant about how she's selling her car. Long story short, she asked if I want it. Now, she already has two cars. She has um, two Mercedes, and apparently she just bought a third one that's not she didn't pick up yet or drive away with it yet and so she asked me if I want the car and for a brief second I did for a brief second I was like until she told me what she was selling it for which is she's basically selling it for the Kelly Blue Book price but no but I'd have to dip into my savings and I don't know if I told you guys but I have a like a five-year plan to buy a house and um, among other things and so I'm really stingy with my money um, not stingy but I'm a really tight budget um, so that's just not a priority right now another thing that almost got me the other day is when I was in Hollywood I passed by the Louis Vuitton store on Hollywood Boulevard and there's a purse that I've been wanting so so bad in there but I could just never justify spending that much money on a bag I was talking to my ex the other day about it and he was like why didn't you get it he was like you work so hard you know what I'm saying he's like you give to so many people you deserve it 
And I was like, no, it's not about deserve. Like the other day. In 1,000 feet. The other day, my mom texts me and she says that one of my cousins can't start school because it's, this is in Haiti because he doesn't, they can't afford the school fee. So she tells me how much it is. And so I put the money in her account to send it or whatever. Cause I hate dealing with, I know it's weird, but I hate dealing with like Western Union. And for those who know who live in like the Northeast area dealing with like cam and stuff. And West Ramp. She's sending money too. So she just sends all of the money at the same time. So anyway, to me, that's like better than buying like a thousand dollar Louis Vuitton bag or whatever. You know what I mean? So this is how I feel about it. Not to say one day I won't do it, but I'm Continue better. Continue on be, I two ten west for three miles. I better be getting it and doing it like that's where I can afford it to the point where I won't feel it. If that makes any sense. But um, the people out here live lavish, you know. And I guess it's because there's an image to uphold. But, you know, in all things moderation, that's how I feel. That's just how I feel about everything. Moderation, moderation, moderation. When it comes to the clothes that I buy, some things are expensive and some of them just aren't. Most of them just aren't. I was talking to my sister the other day, well, this morning actually, and we were preparing for my cousin's wedding. And so she kind of was texting, you know, different shoe options. And I text my sister on the side and I'm like, you know, I've never spent more than 40 bucks on shoes. So the idea of spending more than $40 on shoes is just in my head is just like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. But then on the other hand, there are people who will spend 50, 60, 70, 80 dollars on shoes that won't spend 40 dollars on a foundation. You know, I just don't spend money just everywhere just cause. I think this is my exit, y'all. Anyway, I thought it was funny. I'm not buying the car, is what I'm saying. I'm just not. <laughs> but I thought about it. And I'm not buying the, that purse right now. But I did think about it. I'm wearing the same thing I wore last week, y'all. It's like this loosey-goosey dress that I got from H&M. And I love it. I'm wearing it again. I don't care. I'm going to a different church, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, let me get off because I don't know where I am. Let me concentrate In on a right. quarter mile. I'm sitting in a little bit of traffic right now, but I'm like literally the, the church was like 10 minutes, if that, from my place. So, oh my gosh, church was really, really good. As I suspected, um, the head pastor was Haitian. I could tell by his accent. Um, and so it's interesting. Um, but of course it wasn't a Haitian church or anything like that. Uh, but it was a predominantly African-American church with, you know, little sprinkles of everything here and there. You know what I mean? So I really like it. I think that will probably be the church I go to when I don't feel like going all the way out. I'm talking like I'm going to be spending a lot of time here in Cali, but it's really not the case. But they have um, like a week of prayer coming up. So I may participate in that because it's so close by. So, yeah, it'll be really cool to do that. What up? What up, guys? Saturday it's evening now the sun is still out you wouldn't think so by the way my camera is looking I told you guys um, my camera doesn't like to pick up light my um, MacBook I'm pretty sure maybe the newer ones don't have that problem Ooh, but this got me looking shiny I'm trying to get some plans together for tonight um, I actually feel like doing something tonight even though I'm super super tired I have to work tomorrow so the, the thing about that is, you know, it's like I have to make it in at a decent hour because I get up at 5 in the morning to go to work. So it's like I have to get in at a decent hour so I can get some sleep. But even if I do do something, you know, cool tonight and I stay out late, it's okay. That's uh, my friend texting me right now and he's trying to get me. Well, we'll see. what. He, hold on. Let me see what he said. He wants the bar hop. I don't know if I'm down for that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. 
I'm not sure too sure what I'm sort of in the mood for, to be completely honest. You know, I just, it's nights like these, I just miss my friends. Oh my gosh, it's nights like these. Because, you know, I don't know. And my sister, like, it'd be one of these type of nights where we just like, well, let's, you know, let's put some makeup. Well, I already have some makeup on, but like, you know, let's put some makeup on. Let's do our hair. Let's go out, you know. Um... So, yeah, but it is what it is. Um, I don't know. I'm going out tonight, though. I just don't know what I'm going to do. I, I don't want to bar hop that, that much. I do know. But anyway, speaking of my sister, she's doing really good. And she's kind of... Thank you so much for, like, the well wishes and everything. Um, with, you know, Bullet and losing Bullet and everything. And, yeah, I don't know. He was such a good dog. You know what I mean? Like, and ask Alice. Like, I used to say that all the time. I'm like, you have such a well-behaved dog. My dog... Not so much, okay? But her dog, oh my gosh, I love my nephew dog. Anyway, she is actually in Alabama right now because this weekend, which is I think another reason why I feel so long, is um, my alma mater's alumni weekend. And it's a super big deal, especially for those of you guys who either went to my same college or any of the sister schools, y'all already know. Um, you know, y'all already know how we do. And I've seen some, you know, videos on Facebook, Instagram, everything. And it's like, oh, I wish I was there, you know. And it's the first year that I haven't been in town for Alumni Weekend since I started going to the school. Um, so it's our homecoming weekend, Alumni Weekend. We just, you know, it just sucks. I was texting one of my friends, Abby. Y'all remember Abby. And she's just like, I forgive you for not coming. <laughs> So it kind of sucks too in that way, but so yeah, she drove down uh, to Alabama from Pittsburgh. Hey guys, we are on our way to our college homecoming alumni weekend, and we're driving down to Alabama. It's a ten-hour drive from Pittsburgh. Um, we just passed through Cincinnati, heading towards um, Kentucky now. So we have about another five hours or so. We're about halfway there, so it's been a long trip tired. You can see the road out here. It's been rainy the whole entire trip. But thankfully I have Brian here. So I've slept most of it. <laughs> and she's having a good time. I've seen all the pictures of her, her boyfriend, her friends. So I just wish I could be in town. But hey, it is what it is. And yeah. So in the meantime, what I have been doing, like I told you guys the other day, is writing it down. And so I'm doing some budgeting right now, which is a big part of, and I'm so proud of myself. Just yesterday, I went on Forever 21, Zara site, and Makeup Geeks site. I put things in my cart, but then at the end of the day, I was like, do I really need this? No, I don't. So I didn't buy anything. So anyway, guys, if I end up doing something, um, you guys will see it next week, Okay. Uh, because I need to get this edited and posted. What happens is by the time I come home, get settled, finish editing, and then post, it's already Monday on the East Coast. So I try to get it <laughs> posted on Sunday in the States, you know, <laughs> so wherever you are. So what's best for me is to upload it on Saturday night. Um, that's if I'm working on Sunday. Upload it on Saturday night, then publish it before I go to work in the morning on Sunday. That way it's 5 o'clock over here, but it's 8 o'clock on the East Coast. So that's what I've you know, been trying to do. Anyway, guys, I am going to head out. And I love you guys. And you guys are awesome. But you guys knew that already. I'll see you guys next time in another video. And as always, God bless. Mwah.